Hello and welcome to the fourth lecture of Python Concepts. Today we'll learn lists and indexing, a very important part of Python coding. A list is a collection of items that could be anything, characters of, or numbers or something else that is in a particular order, which means that when you make a list, the elements have a particular position. Or in other words, in Python terminology, they all have uh, each of them has an index. For example, uh, when we define an array or a list called my array, it has four elements here, 0, 1, 22, and 33. So it has four positions, first position, second position, third position, and fourth position. But in Python, the indexing starts at zero. So the first element is at index zero. Then the second element is at index one, and so on and so forth. And here I have another list called dogs. Here I have two kinds of dogs in my list. One is retriever, another one is husky. When your items have characters, you have to put them in a single quote. And then when we are printing my array, it's showing 0, 1, 22, and 33. And when I'm printing the dogs, it's printing retriever and husky. Now, if I want to access my array, and I, I would like to access with the index position. So if I uh, access it by position zero, my array zero would be the first position of the, the first index of the list. So it will show zero. On the other hand, if I would like to access the third element, it will be index zero, index one, and index two. So I would have to access the index 2 and it will show 22. And that's how we can access the elements of an array by the indexing. And also we can uh, use the characters. Uh, for example, if we would like to print my first dog was a retriever or a husky, we can actually first print this portion, a string, and then we can access the index of my dogs list. For example, I'm accessing dogs zero, that is the first element that is a retriever. So it's showing the dog is a retriever. If I, if I were to access the second element, it would see, uh, it would show, it would show a husky. And also we can actually modify the elements of a list by indexing. For example, first I'm printing my array. So it's showing zero, one, 22 and 33. But if I access the, third index, that is the fourth element, and make it 222 instead of 33, and then print it again, then I will see that the fourth element, that is the third index, has been changed. From 33, it has become 222. That's how I can change a particular element by accessing a particular index. And also, we can apply several methods on a list, like we can add an element, we can delete an element, or we can modify elements. For example, I have a collection of my toys, like I have dog, I have a cat, I have a bunny, and then I have printed my collection. It's showing dog, cat, and bunny. But if I apply the append method, a car, it will add an element, it will add another toy at the end of my list. So if I print my collection again, then it will show that beside my previous a list of toys, it has added another toy called a car. So that's how we can add an element to a list. And we can also, uh, we don't have to just add to the end of my list, we can add it anywhere. For that, we can actually use the indexing again. For example, let's say we want, uh, we want something to, to be added at the beginning of my list. So we have to use the insert method. So we will we'll say my collection, we'll say my collection dot insert and the index and what whatever I would like to insert. For example, let's say at the beginning, I would like to insert a bike. So I will say dot insert zero. That means at zero index that it, at the first position, I'd like to insert bike. Then uh, when I have printed my collection again, it will show that at the first position, there is a bike. We can also uh, use anything else. For example, let's say in the second position, 
I'd like to use a ball. And then if we print, it will show that at the second position, there is a ball. And we can also delete anything by indexing. Uh, so we have to use the del function. And from the uh, after the del keyword, we will use my collection at one index. So from the second position, uh, it will have uh, it will have been deleted. So the second position is the ball. So after printing, it will show that the second position, the ball is no longer here. So we will see only bike, cat, bunny, and car. And also there is a very popular method called the pop method uh, to delete elements from a list. So for that, we'll use, uh, let's say I have three scores, 10, 20, and 30. And let's say I have printed my scores, 10, 20, and 30. And if I use the pop method, my scores dot pop, then it will just pop the last element from my list. So if I, after applying the pop method, if I use the print my scores again, it will show only the first two elements and the last one will be popped. And also we can pop any element as we, as we want. For example, if we access the first element and use the pop method on it, then it will pop that particular element. For example, now after popping the last element, I have this scores in my hand, 10 and 20. If I use my scores dot pop, at index zero, that is the first position, it will pop out this first element. And after I print my scores, it will show only 20. And also we can uh, access the elements by value. Let's say I have three scores uh, called my scores, a list uh, which has elements good, very good, and bad. So if I uh, print my scores, it will show good, very good, and bad. But let's say I want to remove the bad element and I would like to only show the good and very good. So I will use the dot remove method. So my scores that remove bad. So I'm accessing this particular element bad. So it will show, uh, then if I print my scores again, it will show only good and very good. And it will remove this particular bad element. In a similar way, we can remove the any other uh, element I want. Then a very uh, important uh, aspect of sorting is that my letters D, A, G. Uh, sorting is uh, organizing the elements of a list in a particular order. So here you can say that there is no order in these elements. But if I use dot sort method on this uh, particular list of elements, it will actually alphabetically sort them. For example, uh, at first, my letters uh, would show the original list, D, A, G, but after I use the sort method, it will actually sort them alphabetically, A, D, and J. And a very important and uh, popular method is reverse, uh, just to uh, reverse the orders of the elements in a list. So let's say I have print my letters, uh, we have J, D, A, and if I use dot reverse method on it, then it will actually reverse the order of the elements. So the A will be at the first position, D will remain at the second position and J will be at the last position. So if you want to uh, reverse the order of your elements, uh, you can use this reverse method. There are also tons of other methods uh, associated with the lists and will uh, we'll possibly uh, not learn them today, but this uh, is kind of a basic introduction to the lists so that you can use the uh, indexing and also add or remove elements and modify elements in a list. So in the next lecture, we'll learn more things about lists and work several methods on lists. See you there.